ladies and gentlemen, this morbid looking man, Jared Kushner, is trying to check black people. So I think we need to check him right back. Ain't this dude some kind of slumlord? Didn't it come out he was a slumlord? Why on earth would the black community need to come to some dude that was a slumlord? And didn't his father get put in jail? <laughs> his father went to jail. Okay, come on, man. You know, clean up your own backyard before you want to go jaw jacking about somebody else. Stay in your lane. So this came out on Raw Story, October 26, 2020. Jared Kushner complaining Black people have to want to be successful. Black people, for the most part, have been sabotaged in America. You rigged an entire system against us. But you know what? Despite all of that, we still have Black Wall Street, a track record you have yet to match. Black Wall Street never saw a recession. Black Wall Street was successful for 15 straight years until people like Jared Kushner got jealous, got up in planes, and dropped bombs on it. And then you use your, your Karen to falsify some story that some black man did something to her. We know what, we know what you do historically. See, this is why y'all watch over us like a hawk, because if you leave us alone, we can excel well past you and got a history of doing that. That's why you got to always be around to sabotage everything, not just Black Wall Street on jobs, in school, and a variety of places. And not to mention, you know, the college cheating scandal, Jared, your, your father-in-law, his, his sister said she did his homework for him. Y'all got to cheat to even get in college. Now, what the hell do we look like coming to you for advice? Man, if you don't get out of here, White House advisor Jared Kushner argued on Monday that the black community is struggling because they do not want to be successful. That's a damn lie. That's a damn lie. Kushner made the remarks on Fox and Friends after he was asked about a recent meeting with Ice Cube. So you're going to say Ice Cube was not successful? There have been a lot of discussion about issues that were needed in the Black community for the last years, particularly. It intensified after the George Floyd situation, Kushner explained. You saw a lot of people who were just virtual signaling. They go to Instagram and cry, or they would put up a slogan on their jersey or write something on a basketball court. And quite frankly, that was doing more than pulverizing the country than it was to bring people forward. Are you kidding me? You are part of an administration that have done nothing to bring people together. How are you going to form your lips and say something like that to the black community? Aren't you the quote unquote leaders? You haven't been good leaders, but you are the leaders. You have sucked as leaders. Look at the shape this country's in under your leadership. You saw... <laughs> Ooh, got some damn nerve. Talk about projecting. And again, one thing I've seen in a lot of the Black community, which was mostly Democrat, here we go, here we go. He continued, is the President Trump's policies are the policies that can help people break out of the problems that they're complaining about how you your your father-in-law can't even resolve his tax situation you know and i believe michael cohen when he said trump is deathly afraid of going to jail over his taxes ladies and gentlemen these are not the people to give black folks advice their lives are a mess okay Kushner added 
but he can't want them to be successful more than they want to be successful. We don't need nothing from you, Jared. You need to go back in your hole. We don't need nothing from you. The White House advisor went on to claim that Trump has a groundswell of support in the Black community because they're realizing that all the different bad things the media and the Democrats have said about President Trump are not true. Well, the shit you say about the Black community ain't true. There's a lot of people that desire to be successful. Maybe if y'all would just leave us the hell alone for five minutes, we can get out of this. We could. And, and see, Black Wall Street will always haunt them as an example of our people coming off the slave fields, going through Reconstruction and Jim Crow and still becoming multimillionaires. And people like Jared, they were living in shanty shacks that looked just like the ones over in Africa. After looking at the way y'all botched up COVID, we don't need your advice. Trust me on that one. We don't need your advice. So ladies and gentlemen, this is what he decided to come in the forefront and complain about. <laughs> you know, what a joke, what a joke. I tell you what, if I did need advice, if I did need business advice, if I needed any kind of life advice, I'm not coming to nobody like Jared for that information. You can best believe that. Nobody like you. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.